Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, two episodes a day, every day, 3D Boxing comes at you. It's 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, big news from the World Boxing Organization, the WBO has ordered Crawford versus Porter. Uh, Crawford defending against Porter. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, Texas, uh, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Um, please subscribe and share. Please subscribe to that channel too. Help us get us monetized. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, Terrence Crawford has been criticized. Uh, for his level of opposition, many, many, many times, obviously. Um, since moving up to welterweight, he's fought Jeff Horn, he's fought Benavides, he's fought Amir Khan, he's fought Kel Brook, and he's fought Mean Machine. Not exactly murder as well. Um, when Sean Porter was uh, doing some commentary on the Spence uh, Danny Garcia fight, uh, he said he was number one in the WBO and I believe the IBF. WBC. There's two organizations. One is Spence's belt and the WBO. And he said he prioritized WBO. He wanted to fight Bud. Um, at that time, I thought the fight would get made. Um, I really did. I, I thought, you know, Bud doesn't have a lot of options, good options over there on the PBC, on the top rank side. Um, that you know they would come to a deal, they would fight on ESPN, ESPN pay per view, and that fight would get done because Sean Porter wanted it and Terrence Crawford would want it because he didn't have a whole lot of other options. Um, it didn't get done. They didn't really make him a legitimate op- legitimate offer, according to many sources, including so it's not alleged, and including um, Bob Arum. So I can say it's not alleged. Bob Arum acknowledges it. they offered Sean Porter one million dollars, which means they didn't want to fight him. Um, they weren't going to make him a legitimate offer. Um, Sean Porter, believe it or not, is as big a star as, as Terrence Crawford. I mean, if you don't like that, it's true. You know, you look at, pay, at Porter's pay per numbers, what he did with Spence, and, and Crawford's two pay-per-view sales, it, it is what it is, <laughs> you know. Um, Crawford's a good TV star, he's not a pay-per-view star, and the fight would be on pay-per-view. Um, Porter's also been able to work out a deal with every other top, Altaweight, Cal Brook, Adrian Broner, uh, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Sean po- uh, Errol Spence. So it stood to reason that this fight would get made. Um, it did not. And there's been rumored that Crawford was going to fight a litany of second-rate guys. He was going to fight... Um, who knows who he was going to fight? He was going to fight um, Jose De Lopez. The Ugas thing fell through. Um, Abel Ramos came up, n- n- names like that. Nothing of note, nothing anyone wanted to see at all. Um, I think Adam Eason's name came up. Um, it wasn't going to be one of the PBC guys, and PBC happens to run the 147-pound division. Um, so, I, <laughs> it was nothing anyone wanted to see. So, uh, Crawford took a big hit. I mean, it was uh, – Crawford was getting hated on. And I'm Crawford's biggest fan. Um, I've had him pound for pound number one for a long time. Not anymore. Now it's obviously Canelo. But he took a hit. And his credibility took a hit. Um, and for good reason. He wouldn't fight anybody. Um, but now we're going to get this. The WBO stepped up and did what sanctioning bodies are supposed to do. All right, they have one job to make sure champions defend their title against top-level opposition. 
And they've been doing the opposite of that for a long time. And now they step up and they order a fight. Where, like, if I said to you, who is the best guy at 147 to not have a belt? You can give me a couple names. Virgil Ortiz, Boots, Porter. Any of those are fine. Doesn't matter to me. But those are the guys that should be getting the mandatories. Not the guy, not Carlos Ocampo. You know, uh, which is what we've been seeing. Um, but now that WBO stepped up and did the right thing, and now we're going to get a great fight. Now, I should I shouldn't speak too soon. We're not definitely going to get a great fight. So this doesn't mean anything's going to happen. Both fighters can still walk away. I'm going to make a bold prediction at the end of this. So stay tuned. Okay. Um, so they have 30 days to negotiate a contract. If they can't do that in 30 days, then it goes to purse bids. Then any promoter with a license can bid on it. Okay. This is how uh, TV Malopo has got $5 million if I can't boast this. We, we, we might do a show about that too. Um, this is how he got $5 million if I can't boast this. Because Trolla paid for it. Okay. This is going to go to a bidding war. Um, this is a big fight. It's a great fight. And the winner wants Crawford because Crawford Spence wants Crawford. And they can have that fight. You know, they can plant the seed with this fight. Should Crawford win? And then they have Crawford Spence. And there's no guarantee Crawford win. But just because they, they, they bid it and they order it and they bid on it doesn't mean I have to take the fight. I can say no, and there's nothing you can do. The WBO might be able to strip Crawford, and they would take Porter's number one mandatory position. Um, but they can't make the fight happen. They can't make him. They can't, you know, force him into the ring. He can still walk away from the fight. I don't think Crawford would do that, and I it seems like Porter wants the fight, but we have to see what the purse bid comes in at. My personal opinion, here's my bold prediction. Ready? Let me put this down. Triller wins this for like $15 million that they put such a huge bid on this to get this fight that Triller wins this fight. That's my hot take. Um, I, I think you're going to get this fight. It's going to be on Triller because they can bid on it just like they've been on, 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 on TV with Lopez and, and Cambosis. That's the fight they need. I mean, this is a big fight. This is a fight people would be into. It's a 50-50 fight, which I'll do another video as we get closer if the fight does get made. And it becomes official. I'll do a video, and I'll break it all down. But it's a great fight. It's a 50-50 fight. Porter can absolutely win this fight. Not that he is going to win, but he can absolutely win. Um, but um, Crawford... Um, I'm sorry, I'm losing my brain. But that's my prediction. We, we get this on Triller uh, at another insane purse bid. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe um, to 3D Boxing Blog, as well as the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it is July 22nd, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that chance. Let's get the Iron Boy in. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.